Hey, Steve here, and I'm about to try converting a .NET CLI tool into a new .NET Core 2.1 global tool. Um, so the, the tool that we're going to be looking at is called uh, .NET Libyear. Um, it's based on uh, a Ruby and NPM project by local developer friend Jared Beck. Uh, and it basically just tries to put some metrics behind, you know, uh, how far behind uh, our application is. If you want to learn more about the .NET version, I have a blog post from last year uh, when I did that. Um, it's very similar to uh, .NET Outdated, which is newer. Um, Scott Hanselman just had a blog post on this not too long ago. Um, this has uh, fancy colors to let you know, uh, you know, uh, with semantic versioning, um, how far behind things are. Um, but what Libya does is it tries to, to put a calendar spin on that. So uh, right now, when we run this, uh, it's going to show you know a bunch of projects, what versions installed, and the date on it, um, and then how many lib years behind it is. So the lib year is the sum of all of the packages involved and how far behind they are. Uh, if you want to check that out, uh, libyear.com is the the main site, um, and he's got links there to, to all the different uh, language implementations of that. So what I want to be able to do, right, with a, a, a new, one of these new .NET Core global tools uh, is to say, you know, .NET Libyear, which uh, once you install this uh, with all the instructions here, uh, that's how it works. But it's a little funky because the, the CLI tools uh, they're project specific, so you need to install them on every project. Um, there's a couple workarounds for how you can do that. You can check that out on the blog post. Um, but it, it's really not as uh, as polished as the new global tool workflow. So uh, I have no idea how this is going to go, but uh, we'll we'll see. Um, so basically, I'm just going to uh, start off uh, by searching for .NET Core global tools. Um, and yeah, this is what I was looking for. I remember this post by Nate McMaster a while ago. I figured it would be really helpful. So, here we go. Okay, package authoring and SDK. So, what we need to do is we need to add this pack as tool property to our. Project. So we're do that. Additional properties. Okay, so we want this tool command name as well. So what that tool command name does is uh, we want it to begin with .NET because I still want to be able to say .NET libier because libier is also a command in other languages. So we want to make sure that uh, we can still access our other language implementations as well as the .NET one. All right, so the pack as tool does that. We need one of these .NET settings .xml files, it looks like. Do this. Add a new file. .net, .net settings, .net tool settings. XML. Paste that in. Now these variables. Okay. So runner has to be .net. I guess I'm just gonna have to guess on these other ones. Uh, I'm gonna call this .net libier again. Yes, entry point file. Oh, the DLL. 
is this going to be called? Uh, here, dot yellow. I think. Dot <laughs> linear. Makes it easy, naming it all the same. What else do we need? Right, so our new spec, we now have, we get rid of these. Ooh, which also means I can get rid of that. So I, I also had an option to uh, be able to install this. The way to install it globally is to uh, download the project template for, for Libyear and then have kind of a, I don't know, just a shared space where where that uh, .NET libyear command could be used. But yes, now that we have kind of a, a more straightforward workflow, this is good. Okay, so theoretically that should be it, it looks like. So let's build this. And I believe Right, so we've got our, our new uh, NuGet package there. Um, we should bump the version number while I'm thinking of it. All right, semantic versioning, this is a totally new thing. So 2.0, uh, I can never remember where to find the Their versions. So I'm going to do it this way. I know it's in the CS project. Bump that too. Okay. So now let's build this. We should have a 2.0 here now. Good. So now over on our command line, we want to do this, but a little bit differently. Call .net linear. That's in bin debug. Okay. Uh, one point zero point two. Why is it looking for one point zero point two? .NET tool reference project style. .NET tool. We just call it Libier. I forget. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that old that .NET Libier must have just been an old one. So now we can say .NET Libier, uh, and I want to pass it this directory. Nice. All right. Cool. So that was a lot easier than I was expecting to be. Uh, I, I hit a couple bumps in the road, um, but largely this this blog post from Nate McMaster was super helpful. So thank you, Nate, for that. Um, really, all we had to do was add this pack as tool element to our CS project. Uh, I added the tool command name as well so that we could call it .NET Libier instead of just Libier. Um, we added this .NET tool settings file and we updated our new spec to be a package type of .NET tool instead of the old .NET CLI tool. Awesome. So that was fun. Cool. So uh, I'll get a release build up on NuGet as soon as possible. And then you can just say .NET tool install dash G Libier and uh, find out how far behind your stuff is. <laughs>